Yeah, so here we have uh, an Arnica tincture from April of 2010. These were bottled on the same date, the difference being this is an Arnica oil. Uh, so it's been preserved in oil from, kind of as a massage medium. Um, this is a tincture. This is actually soaked in alcohol. And as you can see, the majority of the, the flowers in here have actually dissolved in the alcohol, and they've condensed and coagulated in the oil. So uh, both of these are incredibly potent analgesics. They take pain and inflammation away from joints, allowing people to have better quality of life, more movement, more mobility, less pain, less inflammation and swelling. Super, super cool stuff. What else do we have here? We also have uh, San Huang Ju. This is an herbal ice. Uh, this is a really, really cool liniment. This is the equivalent of an ice pack in China. Uh, typically, we don't put cold onto injuries in Chinese medicine because it causes constriction and reduces the amount of uh, drainage of the inflammation. It actually causes more inflammation. So what they'll typically do is they'll put on warm compresses, like warm temperature compresses, of cold flavored herbs, things like mints and menthols and so forth. So you have the warmth going into the tissue, which allows the tissues to expand so more fluids can drain from the area, while still allowing the coldness of the oils and, te and temperatures of the herbs to soak in the skin, removing that hot sensation. So this is herbal ice. You put your hand in this and take your finger out and actually start to feel cool almost immediately from it. And as you can see, this is all ground up herbs at the bottom that have now turned to almost a solid after being in here for nearly, we're going on uh, almost 10 years right now. So this is another very, very potent one. Yeah, we got a lot of cool stuff. We got a couple of trauma gels from 2017 that are still aging. Um, a couple of these just about empty and ready to be refueled. These ones are full here. Got another warming one. Uh, these two warming ones back here, these are great. This one has not been opened yet. This is from 2017. This is a warming liniment. As you can see, there's a lot of herbs in this one. Uh, this great formula is really good for uh, patients that have cold arthritis. If your joints get tight and achy, stiff in the wintertime, where we would call it cold B syndrome or cold obstruction syndrome, where it's blocking the chi, blocking the blood, the metabolism from moving through the joints, and you get stachy, uh, stiff and achy in the wintertime, especially on cold, damp days. Uh, this is actually a very nice warming soap. You can apply it to a joint and it's going to increase the blood flow to the area, but the herbs will actually help the tissues to heal too and add some more warmth and heat into the tissues so that the cold uh, doesn't bother you so much and gives you a little bit of a protective armor. It's like wearing a blanket on the inside on your cold joints. It's a really, really cool formula. Patients like that one a lot. And then there's my uh, a couple of my really old ones here. We have a, this is a tendon relaxing soak. It's still got the herbs in it too. It's another topical liniment. This one's been bottling and brewing unopened since 2008. So it's a quite an old batch as well too. Uh, probably not going to open this one up until about 20 or so years to make this very nice aged blend. Uh, but this is very, very potent to help relax tendons. So people that have constrictions in their tendons, a lack of flexibility, uh, the elderly population, where they're having confinement and restriction, may not be able to open their joints up all the way. Uh, this very, very quickly allows their joints to relax, open up, and gain flexibility. You can see behind here, you also have a, a bone and tendon gel that's just about empty there. You got a couple more doses left in that one before it's done. That's been going since about 2017 as well. Um, that's for very good bone bruises, for tendinous injuries, soft tissue, sprains, strains, breaks, things like that. I've used that a lot with my MMA fighters, and they have phenomenal results there. You know, broken knuckles heal super fast, forearms, elbows, collarbones, any uh, shin kicks, things like that, heal super, super fast. So some of the herbal stuff that we do here, making our own liniments, jowls, and topicals, so that you know exactly what the ingredients are, how long they've been set and processed for, what the purity of them is, and that's, that's our own brand of our magic goodies that we make. What's a jiao? A jiao, jiao means a uh, wine in, in Chinese. Jiao, it's actually pronounced. Um, typically means wine. Uh, these ones are soaked in alcohol. Uh, typically they'd use like a baijiu, which is a, a white wine, almost like a vodka-like preserve in China. Uh, here we use, we use vodka, really high proof vodka to have the alcohol astringe out the uh, medicinal components of the herbs. 
So we have warming gels, trauma, trauma gel, or Joe, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, a lot of times we call them liniments as well. That's a little easier for the American to say than Joe or Jow and not knowing which one's the right way to say it. Uh, call it dit dot Jow if you look. Dit dot Joe is trauma Jow. It's all the same stuff. It just means alcohol infused herbs to extract out the medicinal property. It's a liniment you put topically on the skin. Anything else cool in here? I think I went through all of these already. Yeah. Yeah, that's all the fun ones we have brewing. Most of these are just redundants of each other. 